1.2 now, and in 1.2 it, it's expressions and models, and we're going to take a look at some examples here. Um, some of the examples that we have here um, is some basic substitution that you should already know um, from your work in Algebra 1. What this is saying is it's saying that d is negative 1. So I'm going to take that negative 1 and I'm going to plug it in there for d. It's saying that e is a positive 1, so I'm going to take that and plug that in there. So I end up with 2 times negative 1 minus 6 times 1. Well, that gives me a negative 2. That gives me a negative 6. So my final answer here is a negative 8. It's the same process down here. I take a 2, plug it in for j. I take a negative 1, and I plug it in for k. So I get 6 times 2 minus 4 times negative 1. So you get 12. That becomes a positive 4. So you get 16 as your answer. <coughs> All right, so um, still the same thing here. This is saying that y is 9. So I plug in a... 9 for y, it's saying that x is negative 3, and it's saying that we have a 30. So that gives me a negative 27 and a negative 3. Well, that gives me a negative 30, so a negative 30 plus a positive 30 is 0. Okay. Um, these can get a little more crazy and a little more intense, which is basically what this is saying here. Um, if r is 2 and s is negative 5, this is what it would look like. Um, negative 4, r is 2, s is negative 5, plus r is 2, s is negative 5, minus 2, and that's 2 squared. According to... Um, the order of operations. Uh, you have to do parentheses first, and we don't have those anymore besides the, this right in here, so that would give me a positive 10. Then we have exponents, which means this becomes a 4. And then from there, uh, we have multiplication. So negative two, 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 5 is 40. So we did that. And when we do that, we have 40, we have 10, and we have a negative 8. So I do addition and then subtraction. So I get 50 minus 8, which becomes 42 as my final answer. Evaluate. Uh, once again, it's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I see no parentheses see no exponents so multiplication so I get 60 minus multiplication which is 60 okay divided by 3 or sorry what am I saying 15 times 2 is 30 okay now most of you would want to just take those two and subtract them but that's not how you solve the problem because according to operations division is next so I need to divide and when I do that 30 and 3 gives me 10. So really your answer when you are done is 50. Same rules apply here. Um, it's the same exact problem. It's 100. I need to do multiplication here first, which I get 40. Then I do division, which 40 divided by 5, 8. So we end up getting 